How's it going guys? This is the Rowdy Predictions. My name is Scott. I need a haircut. I need a shave. And this is a prediction video. So, in today's prediction, we're going to be talking about the upcoming fight between Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson and John Moraga. Let's get right into it. I'm going to start off by saying, you know, this fight is kind of a ridiculous matchup in my opinion. It would seem that John Moraga is a little bit outclassed in this fight, but, you know, it's not that stacked of a weight class. There's really not much that can be done about it. Uh, Demetrius Johnson has already defeated the three people ranked higher than Moraga, so, you know, it really is what it is. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get to the fighters. First, we're going to be talking about Demetrius Johnson. Now, Demetrius Johnson is pretty exciting to watch. You know, you're not going to watch him and expect, you know, a finish or expect him to knock somebody out for the most part. You can expect him to push the pace, be really overwhelming, and just kind of best the other individual with really quick footwork and really quick striking, and usually pull off a unanimous decision. But he's just really, really good at controlling the pace, moving really fast, overwhelming the individual, and pulling off that victory. He's also really good at controlling where the fight goes, and that allows him to just overwhelm the individual even more than he already was. Let's talk about Moraga. Now, Moraga. He's got decent striking, his footwork is not really up to par to Demetrius Johnson, and his striking is not really up to par either. He does have the advantage, on the other hand, with his wrestling. So that's something he has, he has good wrestling. Let's just jump right into the prediction now. You know, Moraga hasn't fought anyone quite as good as Johnson yet. He fought Dodson, but you know he ended up losing to him, so that really doesn't say much about that. I think he's a little bit outmatched when it comes to striking and footwork and just overall movement. I really don't think he's going to be able to handle the pace of Johnson. You know, is an upset possible? Yeah, it is very possible. I think Moraga has a puncher's chance. I think he could land a good one, maybe take Johnson down to the ground and be able to finish him off. I think that's possible. I think an upset is always possible. But I think that Johnson is going to push the pace. He's going to overwhelm Moraga. He's going to outstrike him and just pretty much run around him. He's the fastest guy I've ever seen fight and win the fight by unanimous decision. I'm not expecting a finish, so I'm thinking it's going to be Demetrius Johnson by unanimous decision. But don't go anywhere, I have more. Now the co-main event has potential to be a much more exciting fight. We've got Rory McDonald versus Jake Ellenberger. So let's talk about it. McDonald is on a four fight win streak. His fight against BJ Penn was amazing. His striking is improving so much every day. It's so technical and not only does he use that to defeat opponents, but he uses it to defend against takedowns, very similar to GSP. Makes sense because he's training the same place GSP's trained. It's not likely that McDonald is going to want it to go this way, but he can submit you if he really needs to. Ellenberger, on the other hand, completely different. Not quite as technical, but he has power. He can knock you on your ass, and he's probably going to be swinging for the fences. He's a Division II All-American wrestler, so even with the technical skills of McDonald being able to defend takedowns, I don't know if he's going to be able to defend it against Jake Ellenberger's takedowns. Another thing that Ellenberger actually has going for him is the fact that McDonald is still recovering off of recent injuries. So this has potential to be an amazing fight. You're going to see a lot of punches thrown. You're probably going to see some blood. You're going to see some takedown attempts. You're going to see some knockout attempts. You might even see somebody get rocked. You might even see somebody get finished. Now that leads me to my prediction. I actually think, even though Ellenberger is the one with the knockout power, I just think McDonald is improving so much with his technicality and he's just so precise and he's such an amazing fighter. I think that he's going to take this and I'm going to say he's going to take this by TKO in round two. He's going to finish the fight. He's going to finish Jake Ellenberger. Alright guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe today if you feel rowdy enough. And as always, thanks for watching.